Hello, welcome back to The Happy Hunt. My name is Neil Mossy, and the way that I'm going to make Britain a bit better today in this video is to mark my property. I'm gonna write my name on my precious Lacey hard drives. Look, I wrote the phone number on my Lacey. It's completely rubbed off. Uh, that's my daughter stuck that on. I, I, I think that might get peeled off. And, and this is the fear, isn't it? That we don't put our name on stuff because we think that if it is stolen, then, then they'll also have our personal contact details as well as the thing they've nicked. But if they've nicked the thing, the thing's got all my life details on anyway. So I might as well give someone the chance to do the right thing and to try to return it. And when I've lost stuff, stuff has pretty much managed to get back to me because I've written my name on it like a six-year-old and I'm going to do that today I'm going to actually write it like a six-year-old because I'm not an expert engraver I try my best but I'm practicing and I'm trying to get better and if I do that on camera then maybe I can help you get better at engraving too but the the biggest fear obviously is that these are really precious delicate machines I don't know maybe the vibrations might somehow destroy the hard drive mechanism or maybe I'll dig too deep in the hard drive and ruin it that way. Uh, uh, by the way, this thing here is like a little strip of Velcro that I've put on so that I can keep the cable with the drive because I can never find that. I've sort of tucked it into the bumper there. Uh, you know, I need to put this disclaimer as well. I, I call them laces. I know they're pronounced lassie but they're laces and if that irritates you I, I'm, I apologize but I'm going to engrave my laces now. So I've made an engraving video before and I'll put a link to it in the in the corner there if you click on the eye. These aren't exciting videos <laughs> I'm just sharing my journey along the way if it helps someone then that's good uh, I, I hope it does but today we're going to engrave the lacy and the and the MacBook Pro. But I'll start with I'll start with the lacy. Now I've chosen the smallest ball engraver. I learned this last time. If I write my name on the drive first, I'm going to do it sideways. I think because I, I don't think I'm going to get it all in that way. I'll do it nice and big. And this is just to guide my lettering as I go. And I'm putting my Twitter handle on, so I hope that will help someone return it to me. And I'll put my phone number down here, but I'm not quite ready yet to share my, my phone number with the world. But I'll show you how it goes with the, with the name. The other thing I learned last time was eye protection. I've got some glasses on. I guess we'll go, so I've switched the engraver on. I'm going to hold it like a pen. I'm going to do it very gently first just to not destroy the, the hard drive case. That's a problem. Because the ball is so small it just skips all over the surface. It's not given a very clean engraving. So I wonder if I should use the bigger one. But my fear with using the bigger ball on here is that it will just go straight through and destroy the, the hard drive. And I'm not doing it on the side. I mean, the side would be stronger, but it's hidden. And I just want someone, if they find it on a street or on a train carriage or toilet, that they'd be able to instantly see where they can get it back to me. I'm, I'm doing it on the new drive. So if it destroys it, I will only have lost uh, not very much material and I'll plug it into my MacBook to test it before I do the second one. Let's get a bigger engraver. Should I get the super big one? I'll get the super big one. Oh, I don't know if I should do this. So you hold down the clutch and then you can turn the spindle that holds the thing and then you can put it in like that and do it up. If you don't hold that down, the thing just spins around. It doesn't do anything. There we go, so that's in now. Oh, this is the big one <laughs> going in. Because it's bigger, 
I need my lettering to be much bigger than this. So I'm gonna have to write it again, I think. What I could do is just write it one letter at a time. So if I rub the name off, oh, what a mess. There's a spider on it. But don't be alarmed, you can clean this up with uh, some surgical spirits. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go free form, I think. I just don't wanna go too deep. That's why I wanted to do this on camera, so that you can learn from my mistakes. But here we go. Okay, that's about as deep as I want to get. Yeah, it really do need the bigger needle to do this. I just hope that the vibrations aren't killing the the hard drive. Do the And what seems to be working is if you just hold it in place and not move it very quickly, just hold the engraver very gently and move it very slowly, that seems to etch the letter better than by digging deep and writing quickly, even though everything in my brain is saying, do this quickly because you're gonna destroy your lacy. But let's keep going, okay? And I had a bit of a, a scare before Christmas of working with a professional video editor, someone who actually does this for a living. And he lost a precious drive. He, it, a drive fell out of his bag and it was out in the world for about two weeks. It had the name and phone number written onto it, but it's easy to remove. I've got pretty much my life's work on here. I've got it backed up, I think over some other hard drives. This one's a, a fairly new one. So I wanted to engrave it now before the time when it becomes super precious and I, I would lose everything. Oh. Keep thinking that's the off button. <laughs> it's not. Well, I don't think you can see that. I don't know if it's coming across all the the shavings aren't that healthy, so I'm going to try and blow them off. But I'm I'm pleased with that. Now I, I think I'd want to dig deeper just to make sure that it doesn't just rub off. But the vibrations of this, I'm really worried that it's going to damage the thing inside. But I might take this off just to clean it properly can see what it looks like. And I'll just clean the, the case. Probably shouldn't be breathing it in either. Ah, the things we do for our stuff and property. I can plug this in now to my MacBook Pro to make sure that it still works. So moments of truth. I'm on the other camera now. And plug it in. Does the lacy appear? Yes, there it is. I double click on it, there you go. It looks like I didn't destroy my lacy. I clearly didn't dig deep enough with my name. Oh, that's awesome. What precious objects of yours would you engrave? Maybe I could do them here on the channel <laughs> uh, because I seem to get better each time I do this. Uh, why not let me know that you reach this point by hitting the, the thumbs up or even better, if you hit subscribe, it helps take us closer to 1,000 subscribers when YouTube starts to pay us for these videos. I'll take these off. And thanks for all your comments, and I'll see you on the next Make Britain a Bit Better vlog. <laughs>
<laughs> That's rubbish. That doesn't work. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks. Bye. How was that?